Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be featuring my croissette bag. I have a product from Have Deluxe on this particular lock here and I am trying a new company called Cactus Wren Creations. This is an American-based Etsy store and she was kind enough to send me some free samples so I could try them on my croissette. If you look here, the top bar has a protector on it, and this is from the Have Deluxe Company, but on the inside here, there is no protector. And so that's gonna be a difference between Cactus Run Creations. And then also, if you look on the bottom part, you can see where the sticker is from Have Deluxe, and that's why I reached out to Cactus Wren Creations because this has a lot of area that is not covered at all. And so I wanted to see if I could find something better. So I've got to peel off the stickers and this kills me because it was really hard for me to get these on. So let me go ahead and take them off. Okay, I've got a hold of the bottom part here. It doesn't make it easy to do this with my fingernails. I might need to go get a pair of tweezers. So I'm gonna go ahead and carefully pull this off. And then I'm gonna need to remove that little bit of sticky stuff that I left behind over here. Let's see if I can just wipe it off with my finger. No, it does not wanna come off. Let me just wipe it off like this. Okay, so I got it off with the towel. You can remove a lot of fine lines and scratches by using one of these polishing cloths. And if you look here, I have a fair amount of scratching just right up here. I mean, it's not super deep or anything. It's just some little dotting where the lock from above has hit. And then I do have some very fine lines in other spots. So I'm gonna just see, because I just got a new cloth, I'm gonna see if those will polish off and also it will help clean this whole thing before I put stickers on it and cover it back up again. And I am seeing, I think the fine, fine scratches are being removed. Those little dots where the turn lock, or not the lock, turn lock, the lock bumped against, they're not coming off, but there was just a little bit of tarnish and that's coming off. And you can see, look how dirty the cloth is right there. So it was tarnished. Let's start with a clean spot and see if we can do a little better. Get it really nice and shiny and clean before we go ahead and put a sticker back over the top. We don't want to trap in any moisture or dirt and it's, Still just a little bit dirty there. I just picked a white spot of the cloth to use to shine the hardware up. I am seeing some extremely fine lines on there. Let's go ahead and use the polishing part. Now that first part did polish, but this is really gonna polish. This is the fine polisher, I guess you could say. It really will buff it as good as it's gonna get. It's looking nicer gosh i'm wearing the wrong bracelets for this i'm wearing my tiffany bracelets and they are making some racket as i move my arms around here okay there you see it's looking i think as good as it will get see one little spot i want to work on just a tiny bit more right there i may have to take one of these bracelets off The majority of the scratches on my croissette were actually below the bar when it's closed, so you couldn't see it. So when you get items from Cactus Rent, it comes in a card in the mail, like just a letter size card. And then there's a QR code so that you can scan it for directions, which I should have done. I did not realize that that was there when I sent her a message initially. So if you look here, there are two pieces and I got two sets. So you have the part for the bottom and then you have the part for the top. 
and the part for the top will basically wrap around and go over the back side. So I'm going to do the part for the bottom first, since that is what I just cleaned. Okay, so I'm using some sticker assists from Ab Deluxe, and it says to remove the cutouts first. So I'm going to remove those cutout stickers. I've got those off, and it's going to want to go this way. It says to peel away the backing off of the assist piece, and then what I was trying to say is Sarah offers a pair of plastic tweezers for sale on her Etsy page, and that may be the best way. Oh crap, I messed up. Okay, I got it. To put these on, but I have a feeling I'm gonna have a problem here. This is not gonna work. Gosh darn it. Well, I messed up the first one because what I did is I put this film over the top of it and pulled it up and grabbed it. And now I cannot get it off of the film without ruining it. So what I'm gonna do this time is try to do a little better. You have to catch this bit from the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it from the bottom like this. Now I have a hold of it, see? I've got the film ready to go, and I probably should use a little bit of this to grab the other side, just so I have a little bit of control. There we go. I am controlled, I think. So I did not do the best job. If you look here, I've got a bubble right there, but I will say that I do think that it looks much better to have this bit closed over. And when you close the lock, you cannot see what a bad job I did putting that sticker on. So I'm gonna say that that's a win and I wish I could smooth that out, but I can't. And I already ruined the other one. You get two. Okay, so let's go ahead and try the top one. Hopefully I can do better with this one. I would recommend getting the tool that she has available, the tweezers, maybe two pairs of them so that you just can get access a little better to these stickers because I'm having all sorts of trouble getting them on and it's partially because I'm a novice or mostly because I'm a novice, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab with the applicator pieces from Hap Deluxe. I'm gonna grab both sides here. And the most important thing with these is to get it lined up on the top. And then you can worry about how it looks folded underneath. And once again, I have stuck it in the wrong spot. I'm not doing very well here. So the most important thing is to get it lined up like so. This is gonna be so much easier. Okay, so now I need to open the lock without touching my finger to it. And then I'm gonna roll it over. And when I do so, I'm gonna adhere it to the other side. And then I'm gonna peel off a bit like that. And oh my gosh, guys, that looks amazing. That looks so much better than the half deluxe ones. Once again, user error. I could have done it totally better, but I got it rolled around the bottom. There's a little bit of wrinkling right there because I didn't squeegee it out with my fingers before I fastened it. But, but that looks so much prettier. My lock looks crooked because this one hangs off center if I don't have stuff in it, but 
It looks so much shinier than it did. Okay, welcome to my workshop. You can see right now my favorite has the original stickers that Louis Vuitton put on it. And what I did is I've got basically applicator strips that I created from the Have Deluxe applicator kit because their method of applying these isn't really the best because grabbing a hold of the entire sticker with a big sheet may work for some things like a GG emblem or something. But in cases like with a croissette where there's knobs and holes, it's not completely level when you lay it down. Now, it might work okay for this, but we're gonna do a wrap around the end of the favorite bar. So I'm gonna first peel off the Louis Vuitton one, and then I'm gonna install the Have Deluxe one. And when I install that one, I'm gonna show you how it looks. And as soon as I'm done installing it, I'm gonna remove it, and I'm gonna put on the one from Cactus Wren Creatives. And so I just took off the Louis Vuitton one, you can see how shiny it is. Brand new fresh plate, never touched. And so I purchased these, I've never opened them before. They do give you some little applicator stickers. And like I said, Cactus Run has these little applicator tweezers that you can buy one time and then you would have them to go ahead and apply things with. And so, the way that Half Deluxe does it is there's three separate pieces. And so I'm gonna grab the edge of a piece on both sides, like, like so. Try not to grab the piece I don't want. And I've got this here. It's gonna be hard to see the ends to make sure I get it in the right spot. So I may have picked the wrong area to grab. Let's see. This is so much harder than it looks. I think it, it's about right there. So let's see if I got it. I don't have to be absolutely perfect because I'm gonna take this one off. Oh, I'm so far off. I gotta move it down a little bit. So the motto is you go from the top to the bottom. So good thing I'm practicing with the stickers I plan on throwing away. And why do I plan on throwing these away? Because I really prefer the ones from Cactus Wren Creatives because hers, see how that has like a matte finish? Hers are gonna go on shinier. And now there are three pieces. This one actually went on really well as far as Have Deluxe goes. I mean, I'm not horribly unhappy with that, but I do think that hers are a little better. So let's go ahead and put one of hers on. I'm gonna peel this off. And I left a little bit of sticker residue there on the end. So let me get that off with my polishing cloth. Here's the set from Cactus Run Creatives. She gave me two pieces, which is awesome because I'm a screw up. I have a hard time getting these on right. And I think part of it is that my nails are, they're needing to be redone. And I'm just right at the very end of their life, which would be the same thing as needing to be redone. And because of that, it makes it oh so hard to manipulate little things. So first thing is I'm gonna take off this outer piece because I don't wanna grab the outer piece when I put this on. So there's the outer piece. I grab that and stick it to the side. On the first set that I did, the croissette, I messed it up because what I ended up doing was getting those little round stickers stuck to my finger in the process. So. Sarah has graciously agreed to send me a couple more, which I really appreciate. And I don't know if I'm doing this right because it's gonna be really hard, let's see, to get this. Yeah, I think I need to switch and do this from the sides again. It's like kind of hard to know the best way. I've got it now. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put it like so. And then I'm gonna put it like so. Wow. 
That looks really, really nice. Okay. So, you want your hardware to be shiny like this. Going with Cactus Wren Creations is the way to go. I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I think the shiny look looks really nice though. Okay, so I am not sure really how this video is gonna come out, but I did want to take a moment and just show you the Croissette. The shine on the metal with the stickers from Cactus Wren is great. I did not have this kind of shine with the Half Deluxe stickers from the United Kingdom. Now, I do like the Half Deluxe stickers, but in this case, I am loving the shine on this particular piece, and I think it would be great also for the Pichette Matisse. She has stickers for that one too. My favorite came out great. I showed you that one, but this is really the standout in my opinion. And in the process of installing these, I ended up getting the little tops for the lock and the stationary bit stuck to my fingernails. I need to do my fingers because they were in the way and they're too long. But anyway, she's going to send me a couple more so that I can put the little knob toppers on there. But that's something that Have Deluxe doesn't generally do. They don't provide the extra pieces as part of the set. And so I would definitely recommend her stickers. It's a little bit of trial and error to get them on. And so just plan on taking your time. Filming it was nerve wracking. I think that's part of the reason why I messed up so much. But I would say that if you can buy her applicator tweezers and maybe even have two pairs of them, I think they're a couple dollars, maybe five dollars each, just buy those as the investment so that it's easier for you to put them on and not get them stuck to your hands. I think that would be a good plan. But I'm super happy and I appreciate her sending these to me. And this is my unbiased review and I hope it helped. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.